going to talk about is a personal view of what I've seen of the breast shape and the breast footprint and what you can do to each of the four breast borders, what you can do to the shape. We need to learn a lot of things, we need to improve a lot and one of, of the key is to know the anatomy and to know which is going to be the lymphatic channel to use. But, you know, if we can do this as an early treatment uh, or as a prophylactic treatment, it's going to be something good because at the end it's nothing for the patient. It's one hour more surgery. Fantastic meeting. One of the best meetings in Britain that I've ever been to. It compared very, very well with any international breast meeting. It's been one of the best I've attended in several years, both internationally and in this country. Well organized, very good faculty, and all the topics have been very appropriate. And if any time I can go behind the gland, I go behind the gland. Um, I don't do it that much uh, behind the, 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 uh, the muscle. Once again, um, it's the whole service. I have to give the, the result that I would like in the one setting, so I don't hesitate to add fat whenever is possible. So I, I advise to do it in one stage whenever you can. It depends on your capacity, your training, your, your experience, of course. You can see that this, um, these perforators enter and go laterally. So this will, will be the best blood supply that you could get for the flaps. organized event. Um, I really enjoyed coming and uh, it was very good for me too. I learned a lot and you can always learn more at each of these uh, meetings but it was great. It sort of marks things in time actually especially in relation to things like macro lane and other discussions we've had today. Uh, it helps us to firm up our ideas on, on sort of the new developments. I thought the speakers were absolutely brilliant. I personally learned a lot um, and we'll go away now with several important tips that I'm sure will help improve my practice. Oh, the faculty was outstanding, absolutely top-notch. The bottom line is that as surgeons you always have to be careful about what you're doing to patients in terms of what someone's putting in your hands because they're not surgeons, you know, they don't have that same relationship with patients that we do. Companies can go bankrupt, uh, people can change jobs, those are your patients so you have that obligation to do the right thing by them. So the assessment of the deformity is exactly like, you know, the other breast deformities, you know, what is involved and what do you need to replace. And based on the tissues involved and the patient's sort of willingness, age, circumstances, you decide on the best possible way forward. I think this is an uh, um, excellent meeting and uh, the organizer did extremely a great job to gather uh, this uh, distinguished faculty here and uh, to have this large number of participants. I think the, the number of participants as the uh, indicator of the success of this meeting. You'll all agree it's been a brilliant day. I've, I've learned an awful lot myself. I hope you have too. It's been a, a fabulous meeting. The organization of a very high standard, the venue, the speakers, the audience, and the quality of the presentations, the the um, totality of the subject that was covered during the meeting is absolutely fantastic and very, very good value. The skin panel of the tug flap is based on the Gracilis muscular cutaneous perforator. However, the way we are going to discuss today is not based on perforator. There are a few people, Bob here, tries to use the perforator, but uh, we tend to use it as a myocutaneous flap. So if you get a complication after breast cancer surgery, be it an infection or a wound breakdown or dehiscence or whatever, there is something in the biological response to that and the growth factors and immune situation that arises that leads to a big increase in recurrent cancer. Oh, definitely. If there's one next year, I'll be back. If I'm invited, I'll be delighted to come back. I asked Alan and Omar to give me the date of the next meeting because I'm definitely coming.
Thank you all guys. It's been a great meeting and thank you for your encouraging words. We hope to call you back again sometime soon with another modern concept meeting. So keep watching this space.